Bangladesh is planning to send an official delegation to Pakistan to conduct a comprehensive evaluation of the JF-17 Block 3 fighter jet. Dynamatic Technologies Limited is developing a vertical takeoff and landing surveillance drone with 8 hours flight endurance, and also an indigenous jet-powered loitering munition. JNK-based SAP Aerospace is developing rudder loitering missile. US President Donald Trump will visit New Delhi in April, during which the sale of F-35A stealth fighters and striker infantry fighting vehicles will be on agenda. After misleading reports that Rotax engine that supplies engines for Indian drones, has been acquired by a Chinese firm, Rotax has clarified that the aircraft business of Rotax is still a part of Rotax Corporation. The Indian Army is set to initiate emergency procurement measures to procure protective armor surveillance systems and drones to enhance counter-terror operations in JNK. Russia has called for India's inclusion in the Quad Grouping on Afghanistan, which comprises China, Pakistan, Iran and Russia. The Indian Navy's ambition to procure 12 naval Tejas trainers for deck-based training of its fighter pilots is encountering delays, and the primary reason for this delay is the Navy's insistence on the Aeronautical Development Agency to complete rigorous testing and finalizing the configuration of the aircraft, before it can be cleared for production even in limited numbers. Reports indicate that the orders might not materialize before 2027, as aircraft is undergoing additional modifications to serve as an effective trainer from aircraft carriers. The naval Tejas trainer uses the same American F-404 engine, which might contribute to further delays given the issues faced with engine supply in other HAL projects. A Saab India official has outlined the possibility of coexistence between the Gripeni and Tejas Mark II within the Indian Air Force, as both aircraft utilize the same F-414 engine, and this commonality could streamline operations reduce costs and simplify supply chain management. The Gripeni's modular software architecture will allow integration of Indian weapons, and both aircraft can operate with similar weapons to enhancing interoperability, and could operate from the same airbase without requiring specialized infrastructure. Saab Group has also offered its expertise to support the production line of AMCA program, and establish a modernized manufacturing ecosystem. The Center of Excellence at IIT Kharagpur has successfully developed a novel unmanned ground vehicle platform in collaboration with the RDO's Vehicle Research and Development Establishment, that features hub motor technology, which has been engineered to excel in diverse operational scenarios, from rugged terrains to urban environments, and can be used for reconnaissance and surveillance, logistics support, disaster response and even border patrol. India is set to significantly increase the production of composites, and this initiative is driven by the escalating demand for local manufacturing of advanced materials for Tejas Mark 1A on the upcoming Tejas Mark 2, with production orders expected to exceed 300 units by 2035. National Aerospace Laboratories is now partnering with private sector companies to accelerate defense manufacturing in India. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.